Historical archives reveal Sanchez Itu was one of the youngest servants at Kabaka Mwanga's palace courtyard. According to accounts, he was a jolly and talented teenager. He was very good at swimming. If one asked me who is the patron saint of swimmers, I would say Kizito. <laughs> Kizito was very good at playing the xylon. Amadinda. Very good. So why was he working at the palace at such a tender age? These are some of the questions that I mull over as I travel to the deeper recesses of Castanaluero to trace his roots. At this humble hamlet in Waluleta, Nandele Parish, Chizito was born to Lukomera and Wangavira in 1873. These gentlemen are not Saint Chizito's relatives. They're only devotees to the youngest African saint of the 19th century. They narrate the story of Saint Chizito as they were told by their forefathers. While in the palace, little Chizito is said to have loved Christianity and longed to be baptized. The time Kisto was about to face Martyrdom, he had not been baptized yet. Charles Ruanga remembered the catechism lessons and he baptized those who had not been baptized yet, including Kizito. It is revealed that St. Chizito was an obedient boy and a protege of one of the Christian faith leaders, Charles Ruanga. When the Kabaka said, those that are for me remain here, but let those who are for the white man's religion go there, Charles Ruanga shifted to where the Kabaka pointed, followed by Kizito and others, both Catholics and Protestants. In his book titled Our Matters, a Golden Treasure, Reverend Father Javira Mwanga describes Saint Chizito as a brave young man who was unnerved by the gruesome treatment that Christians were going through at that time and disregarded leading Christians' advice to flee the palace court, saying that would be equivalent to denying his faith. When time came for them to be brought to Namgongo to be martyred, to be burnt alive to death, it's reported that Kisto waved to Mapera, who was outside and by whom they passed. Kisto waved at him, saying, Bye bye, Mapera. We are going to heaven. I am going to heaven. On the 3rd June, 1888, Chizito was burnt alive with other martyrs at Namugongo. He was only 14. Kizito set a very good example. After time, his father Rukomera asked one of the elder brothers of Kizito, Mubiru Suboka, for what did your brother die? And he responded, it was because of faith. He wondered. Then he said, let me be baptized too. After the beatification of the Uganda martyrs in 1920, Research was commenced to unravel the origin of these saints. Ochizito, it pointed to this place in Waluleta and Bulemezi. In 1948, a church was built on this piece of land where St. Chizito was born to honor him. In this locale, we met another devotee, Robert Chizito Serunjoji. Serunjoji says his father was the first catechist here. A new church has since been built in this place. Serunjoji led us to a huge mobile tree that many consider a relic connected to St. Chizito. Upon this very land, St. Chizito is said to have been born. Now it is believed that around this place stood his parents' house and right in front of the house stood this very big tree. Now, this tree has become a symbolic feature that Christians come to venerate in remembrance of St. Chizito. Many prefer conducting prayers under shade of this tree, named after St. Chizito. 
Naba ntu wabavamu mawanga nga Tanzania, Burundi, Nerwanda. Bate roku tambu zebigere ni bajia wanorusi ni bamalawe na kunga satu. On the fringes of the church are two graves that many pilgrims often mistake to be Chizito's parents. We learned that St. Chizito's parents had sold off this piece of land and relocated. The land changed ownership and that by the time of tracing Chizito's roots, the couple that lies in these graves own this land which they offer to the church to be turned into a memorial site for St. Chizito. A primary school, St. Chizito Primary School, was also built on this land. Popo VI made him patron of children. Kasana Luero Diocese recently gazetted this area as a pilgrimage site. Christians of this diocese assemble here every third Sunday of July to honor St. Chizito. The crowds are getting bigger and bigger every year. Now we can see like every July we go there, we, we make a pilgrimage as a diocese, and we have close to 50,000 people every year. The diocese plans to give the site a facelift to attract pilgrims from all corners of the world. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwade, NCV.